The following video is going to introduce this sail system demonstrated with remote control boats, a monohull, a catamaran. It's going to introduce the idea that different sizes of wings can be applied to those boats and in fact you'll see that this wing and a much larger wing is on a, is on the boat and one thing that was discovered in this uh, development was that it's actually possible to put a bigger wing than a saw sail on the same boat without altering the hull or the, the ballast or any of that. So it's possible to actually create a larger square footage of area on the same boat. So the video will demonstrate the maneuverability and the functions. Thank you. What we have here is a video of a remote control sailboat using the tilt wing system, the power wing system as we call it. This remote control sailboat demonstrates the, the function, the maneuverability, the points of weather that this boat is capable of sailing. This sailboat is about 40 inches long. This is on a lake in uh, British Columbia. And what it shows is how the boat maneuvers back and forth on beam reaches as it is now, just demonstrated a, a downwind jibe. To do so, the, uh, the wing maintains its curvature rigid as a wing and it pivots over a short mast in the center, which allows uh, maneuverability, allows the wing to help maintain its form, clean aerodynamics, and allows the boat to sail to all points of weather and sail on a beam reach which is the fastest means of sailing here it's just demonstrating a little bit of uh, just tacking a little bit upwind like traditional boats it too has to maneuver into the wind and then off the wind a little bit oh, and then we came about into the wind wind flips over to the other side and momentum is kept and moving forward and the wing can be adjusted for speed the wing can be adjusted for uh, comfort of the sailors on the boat in terms of how much uh, do you want the boat to heel over when the wing is tilted at about 45 degrees uh, it allows for the captain or skipper of the ship to see right underneath it in other words being able to see past forward of the boat giving more maneuverability than a traditional sail. This little run right here that you're seeing demonstrates um, how fast it can go, picking up speed and making a turn, coming into the wind, the wind can be adjusted for its tilt, coming over to the other side and continuing on, making a nice upwind turn without losing any upwind position. and just again fine-tuning the steering. Remote control boats can be a bit of a challenge because of course you can't sense or feel the wind from the perspective of being on the boat. So like all remote control boats there's a bit of a, a challenge with getting them to go where you want to, when you want to and in all of the different directions. And just playing with it a little bit there. Turn up wind. Because the wing is rigid in its curvature, the in irons that is experienced with all sailcraft is minimized. The ability to point to windward is much greater. And there's a downwind turn. And again. Now, just getting into position here to do a little downwind run. Notice that with the wing tilted like this, in a downwind position, that the bow is staying pretty much level with the whole boat. And so one sail, one wing, allows for all different angles of attack with the wind. Now here's an interesting one. 
Same boat, exactly the same hull. Traditional sail on the white one. Wing sail on the other one. Gaining, gaining on it. Sailing at least par with it. And what we find is the wing can actually turn and head upwind at a greater angle than the other boat. The wing also allows a design that will permit a much larger sail in terms of square inches for the same boat. The soft sail that you just saw is equivalent to about a, a thousand square inches and the sail that was the power wing was about 1300 square inches. Thought to be not possible to put uh, that much sail on, on the size of a boat. Here we go. This sail is uh, is bigger than the previous one, the one that's yellow and red. It allows much more wind to be put into effect. Same movement, same mechanism. Engineering and fine tuning, of course, could, could maximize the, the efficiency of the wing. The materials used on a full scale boat, of course, would be by ratio, would be much lighter than a, a model of this size. So, some of what you see in terms of the boat being heeled over is just simply because of the weight of the wing. And again, we're making a downwind run. The one wing can take the place of a the mainsail and the spinnaker. Spinnaker is not needed at all. Therefore not needing to change any of the sails or add sails to the boat. One wing does the job for all points of weather. And there we go from as a sail by sailing with the wind and making a turn to go on to a beam reach. Very simple mechanism. And the way it goes on a beam range. 1300 square inches of sail and a nice turn to come back. Still allowing for nice tight maneuverability. Now, what you're seeing is a catamaran made out of wood, it's about five feet long. Huge cabin space on boats of this size, of course. So it's about 32 inches wide, 5 feet long. The uh, observation deck or upper deck becomes a, a safe place for passengers. Because of the tripod design, the, the wing doesn't have a position in which it can go low across the midship. So in other words, the midship area is a safe zone for passengers on an observation deck. Or for having a flying bridge up top where there's lots of visibility for the captain and skipper. And this demonstration is just to show close up in this application of how the wing can be tilted from one side to another. It's under power, of course, right at the moment, and it's electric. So depending on which way a person is wanting to sail and where the sun is at, both sides of the wing could have solar panels over the entire surface. Giving a huge amount of electrical capacity for this boat. Notice that the midship was still a safe zone for passengers. And here's the boat out in the wind, demonstrating how a catamaran can, can do the same maneuvers as the monohull. Same functions, same degree of flexibility, sailing to all points of weather. And because of the solar panels and the battery power, the electric 
um, propellers allow for the boat to be instantly engaged if needed for maneuvering in tight quarters around shipping lanes, people, other boats, docks, wharfs. And there we have made a successful tack into the wind, coming back towards us now. Of course, in a high wind situation, the wind can be laid horizontal, creating just vertical lift. Because of its nice clean aerodynamics, uh, makes it safe in high wind situations. And another benefit of it that uh, may not be too obvious because it's done with remote controls, but in climates where the weather is very hot and very sunny, of course, if there's no wind or even if there is and no desire to use it as a sail, the, the wing creates a, an umbrella for the entire upper deck, allowing for observation in 360 degrees around the boat from being in the shade. Or I guess the other situation is if it was, if it was in a, a rainy environment, it creates an umbrella for the people on the deck. And again, another successful time. So, in summary, the, the power wing sail system has several advantages. It provides more power for the same square footage or possibly even greater square footage of sail. It allows for uh, sailing tighter to the wind, gaining upwind position that is. It allows for the entire wing to be covered with solar panels, which is a huge advantage in terms of green power and clean fuel regeneration of, of power for a sailboat. So making possible solar electric boats using no fossil fuels. It allows for uh, a safe zone on the boats in which the, the passengers can ride and they don't have to worry about being hit by a boom. Um, the advantages go on and on for this kind of a sail system to be applied to catamarans, monohulls, tankers, um, small sports crafts. Um, it's been patented in three countries around the world at this point and patents are going to continue. And my name is Dale Hanchar, coming to you from Canada.